what's going on everybody today i'm making a quick one for you this is specifically for everyone who has purchased the ultimate usb version 2 uh, as of about a week ago so we'll say march 5th right around there 2024 i have uh, thanks to one of my viewers discovered a really solid win pe environment called ink tech or is it onk tech you guys tell me in the comments how do you say that ink tech onk tank um, anyway, I've decided to throw this into the Ultimate USB version 2, into the multi-tool section, because I tested it out. I did a review on the Mini. So this ISO, uh, you download one ISO, and the link will be in the description of this video, by the way, guys, so don't worry about that. And you get two bootable images right inside of there. So you get a Mini and you get a full. So when you boot to this within the Ultimate uh, USB version 2, You'll be greeted with another boot screen where it says, do you want to boot the mini or the full? Now, this thing is awesome. I did a review on the mini, and I mean, I was kind of wondering why they call it a mini. But then after reading the description of the full, I see why. <laughs> but this mini could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with many of the fulls out there today, guys. So anyways, if you can't tell, I'm a fan of this one, the Ink Tech, or again, is it Ink Tech? I don't know. Um, so that's why it's included. But I wanted to make sure... All of my viewers and supporters who have purchased the Ultimate USB version 2 before I've added this, I uh, don't want to leave you guys out, obviously. And I and I wanted to make this video for another reason to emphasize that when you guys buy these products from me, these aren't locked down. These aren't uh, cement. I mean, you can do whatever you want with them, right? You can further customize them. You can remove images, add images. So I'm just going to show you a very quick demo on how you do that today. And it's super easy, guys, so don't worry. All right, so... This is not an Ink Tech video. This is more of a Ultimate USB version 2 modification video. Um, but let's just take a quick look. I mean, the mini's on the right and the full's on the left. This thing is jam freaking pack, guys. These are just the categories. You drill down, and I mean, they've got some good stuff in here. And we're talking about, you know, name brand, well known stuff. So, two thumbs up, props to the developers of Ink Tech, Ink Tech. Uh, a great PE environment. Anyways, guys, I like I said, I made a uh, review on the Mini, and I'm going to be doing a review on the Full. So if you're interested in seeing more about that, uh, check out my Mini review, and then be sure to subscribe and stick around, because I'll have a full review coming up for this environment. All right, so all you need to do, guys, is go to the link I provided in the description, scroll down, and you're going to hit either one of these. I did a direct download. It was pretty quick, right? So once you download it, you'll get an ISO file. It'll be in your downloads folder by default. Uh, I've moved it to the desktop here just for demonstration purposes. So now that we have that ISO file, assuming you followed the directions and went to the link and downloaded it, um, this is the ultimate USB version 2. So if you guys have one at home, you're probably booting from it, right? Because that's really where the... Um, meat and potatoes or the bread and butter of that stick is you boot into it and then you have that vent away front end with all the categories and the graphics and everything like that however um, I believe I've mentioned this before but if I haven't I'll mention it now you can also use that stick just as a super high performance fast USB storage if you need to because yeah I mean it's great to have it as a Swiss Army knife for IT technicians, right? Which it is, 100%. It's the greatest USB ever made. I stand by that. But the whole purpose of that is to have a single USB where you can do anything you need to do, right? From pen testing to hacking to data recovery to imaging, backup, all that good stuff. You name it, you can do it. You can even play games in the arcade. Um, but you can also use it, like I said, to just have data. I mean, maybe you want pictures. Maybe you need to move data between computers. I gave you a folder here, USB storage. I included some notes in there for you guys. If you haven't checked that out, it's it's nothing crazy, but uh, just give you a little information on the stick. But you could put as much stuff as you want in here, guys. Um, obviously limited to the free space on the disk. And if you want to create more folders, again, this thing has flexibility. It's not cement. Um, you don't probably don't want to, unless you're familiar with Ventoy, I would stay out of this folder. This is where a lot of your configuration takes place, so probably stay out of that one, guys, unless, again, you're familiar with Ventoy. Other than that, um, again, USB storage or create a new folder, you can just have this as a um, USB stick, you know, and use it to not only have the Swiss Army knife, but use it for storage. 
Uh, maybe you need to back something up for your mom or move something from one computer to another. There you go. Okay, rambled on about that long enough. The purpose of this video, again, guys, was for you that have bought the version 2 um, to add this. So now that you've downloaded the ISO, plug in your USB, Ultimate USB version 2, into Windows or whatever system you're running after it's booted, and it'll show up just as another flash drive, right, or another drive. So if you head over to your, should have a Ventoy label. I know, guys, I'll clean it up. But the Ventoy, whatever drive it is, um, just click on that. It'll open it up. You'll be brought to the the directories. For today's purposes, we're going into multi-tools. And watch how easy this is, guys. These are all the uh, WinPE and multi-tool environments included. All you need to do is literally whew, pop it in there. And that's it. Now, next time you boot into the Ultimate USB version 2, guess what? Your multi-tool section will have a brand new WinPE environment called OnkTech. Or is it OnkTech? Let me know, guys. <laughs> uh, now, you will see that this, when you boot into it, will not have a icon next to it. Let me know if you guys want me to cover how to add an icon. Uh, I am working on doing that on the ones that I'll be sending out in the future. Uh, I have to get a custom icon, modify a configuration file, and stuff like that. It's, it's not, you know, rocket science, but you do need to know what you're doing on that one. So, but that's it, guys. For you have, that have bought it already, if you're interested in having this new WMP environment, it's new to the stick. Follow the directions. All again, all you have to do is visit that link, download it, make sure your system's already booted. So if you have a Windows PC or whatever, plug in your flash drive. It'll show up as just another drive. Open up multi-tools and just copy in that ISO that you downloaded from OnkTech into the multi-tools directory. That's it. And then next time you boot into your Ultimate USB version 2, boom, you've got a brand new toy to play with. And this is a good one, guys. It is. Like I said, the mini's awesome. I can't wait to do the review on the full. I think it's going to be even more impressive. All right, guys, so hopefully this helped you out. Do me a favor. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel. The goal for the year is 10,000, and again, my analytics, I probably sound like a broken record, but my analytics show that 91% of my viewers are not subscribed. So please consider subscribing, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Share this video with your friends, and do me a favor. Everyone have a great day. Until the next one, take care.